Hello everyone, Violet here, and today we're going to take a look at Art Magic, this oracle deck by one of my favorite YouTubers, actually Molly Roberts. So Molly Roberts, I love you <laughs> if you come across this video by chance. Um, thank you so much. Your videos are so inspiring. I highly, highly recommend them. And actually the book, Art Magic by Molly Roberts, we read as part of our book club in Discord. So I just want to plug our Discord channel and come be a part of our book club. We read a nonfiction and a fiction book every three months. So every quarter we focus on on two books. You can choose one or the other, but it's a lovely group of people and we would so love to have you there. And um, the Art Magic book was so much fun. We actually had a craft night where we all picked a craft and we worked on that craft together and it was so lovely. So I was really excited to take a peek at this deck. Um, let's take a look. <laughs> Our book, it, it's a little bit more like a pamphlet, but it is very beautiful. My goodness. And I'm sure it has absolutely everything we need in here. Um, how art and magic work together. What is art magic? Some spreads. And of course, if you want more information, I definitely recommend the book as well. Elemental helpers. Like really, it's, it's a beautiful, just a launching um, amount of information so that we can get get going into the creative process with the deck itself. So so that is the booklet it comes along with. And let's take a look at the cards. Okay, so it looks like each of these has a, uh, a prompt to go along with it of something to create, something to do. Maybe we'll choose one. Why don't we look through the deck and then we choose one to read as a possibility. And it looks like we, we look into each element as well. This says unlock the element of earth. I saw one unlocking the element of ether. Okay, <laughs> let's look through it as a whole. But I love this like, look, it's like a rainbow. The backs are different. Wait, are all of the backs different? All of the backs are unique. Look at that. There's like a piece of me that doesn't want to shuffle it. Like I love it in this rainbow order. Oh my gosh. Ooh. And some of these have an extra design. Ah, yes, that's for the elemental cards. So that's cool. You kind of know if you're looking at the back because it, it's different, I assume, like connecting to the element versus, um, maybe we'll pull one of each and read them versus the prompts is what I was going to say. All right. So. <clears throat> Okay, <laughs> we'll start here. So unlocking the element of fire, we have own your intention, empower your tools, conjure a sacred space. This almost feels like an order of things, like you can work with it in this order and it would be really great. Slay perfection. Absolutely. Cathartic art. Oh, I love that. Inspired action. Magnify your charm. I love all the little, like, the drawings on each of these. There we go. Wait, it was in focus for a second. I want to see this one. There it is. Just to get you an idea. Illuminate your aspirations. change the game. Here we go. Unlock the element of earth. Tune into color. Celebrate seasons. Consider context. Spy sacred shapes. Place of power. Forage for allies. Ooh. Make a mandala. Genius Loki. Saying that right? Loki? Genius Loki. 
that's about like I remember this from the art magic book that's about like your local environment what is the like spirit of it I believe what are the elementals within it you know layers of meaning unlock the element of water honor days of personal power trust the process scrying ancestral connection incubate dreams restore mind body and spirit embrace impermanence flow celebrate spills ah i like that unlock the element of air focus pocus symbols of power riding lunar waves awaken the art witch record your journey weave a healing spell oh, i love i love weaving i wish i had more time to do it create new opportunities not magic inspiration and synchronicity unlock the element of ether play imagination mindfulness and desire Ooh, those are cool so these are kind of different okay so let's read let's read let's read the element of ether because i feel like that's one that isn't as um i mean it's not as um physically available for us to like exactly observe so it's kind of fun to read about it so ether it says quintessence omnipresent all encompassing qualities ether or quintessence has no visible defining characteristics ether is both the spring well of the other elements and is the space in which they exist expressions quintessential uh, Quintessential describes the most potent defining characteristic, true spirit, or essence of a concept. In the art magic method, either may represent the true spirit and characteristics residing in the mind, heart, and soul of the maker. Media can be all the media. Tools is the art witch themselves. Amazing. Um, and then I felt kind of drawn to... I was drawn to this one. Hold on, let me find it. I don't know why I'm like not wanting to take them out of here. Um, was it in? Yeah, this one. Honor days of personal power. Dip into a well of power by celebrating dates and times that are holy to you. Birthdays, anniversaries of any kind, rites of passage. And dates of cultural, civic, and spiritual significance are all auspicious days of power. Create holidays and mark dates of meaning with your own bewitching flair. So I really like this one because I've sort of like invented holidays for myself <laughs> throughout my life. And sometimes I forget about them and sometimes I keep using them. And it's just like, I think it's such a lovely practice to look at your own personal wheel of the year and mark moments that are significant to you. Or maybe like bring to mind, like it said, like a rite of passage or something that you went through and you overcame, you know, um, that seemed really lovely. So I wanted to read that one as an example. And I kind of want to look too at these, at these ending ones. Why don't we read, why don't we read imagination? All things that exist once swam in the cosmic sea of imagination. Exercise your wizardly aptitude for solving problems and incandescent creativity by becoming an excellent custodian of your imagination. Feed it well, give it lots of fresh air, and invite the imaginal to befriend you in your daily life. Prepare to be perpetually amused. I love it. <laughs> So let me know what you think of this deck. 
Um, I think this could be really inspiring and really useful. I could see this being like sitting on someone's, you know, work table, um, creative space or uh, coming along with them on artist dates. Anyway, I'm really excited. <laughs> um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Molly Roberts, for creating this deck. And if you want to join our book club, it is in Discord and there is a link in the description. Um, I'll probably put it up at the top as well. And the train is coming in this moment. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.